so I've been working on the Hermitage project since the start of March uh, 2013 um, and my main role on the project has been to develop the Science Live portal. Science Live is a portal which is intended to support uh, interaction between users and climate science models that are running on a web server. Um, it's a configurable framework that is driven by the BFG metadata format um, and this allows us to add new models into the portal uh, as they are developed by climate scientists and to develop configurable presentations for those which determine how the inputs and outputs to that model are displayed within the portal. Presentations within the portal consist of a sequence of what we call widgets. And widgets are basically graphical components that support either the input of data to a model or the output of data from a model and the display of that output on the screen. So in terms of inputs, these might, for example, include uh, slider controls, which allow you to set uh, numeric values using a slider. Uh, outputs so far consist of components such as maps, uh, bar charts, and also line charts, uh, to name a few. Here you can see a sine wave example. The sine wave model is sat on our Sias Live server, and on the browser that you can see here, we also have a presentation for that sine wave model which consists of both a slider which controls the frequency of the sine wave and also a line chart which illustrates the sine wave itself and as you can see uh, I can adjust the value of the sine wave using this slider here and as I do that the sine wave displayed in the line chart also adjusts according to the frequency that I'm setting using the slider and as you can see this is happening more or less in real time. Here we can see a slightly more complex example of what we can do with Sias Live and in this example we're using the LPJML emulator uh, as the model that we're running and what we've done is hooked up three different input controls with a map as the output control. So what is happening here is when we define the decade and we define scenario, uh, which serve as input to the LPJ model, um, the LPJ model is then generating a map from the output data and that is being displayed in SARS Live here. So the result of that is, as we change the defined scenarios, a map is generated showing how the crop yield data that's produced by LPJ uh, relates to a geographical region. And that allows us to explore how different scenarios look in geographical terms. Here we have a third and final example, and this is the Maniclet model. Maniclet is a game theory based burden sharing tool, which allows us to explore how the share of uh, carbon emissions savings across different geographical regions affects prices of fuel uh, allowances and losses for each of those regions. So, as you can see, within Science Live here, we have uh, a much more complex display comprising uh, about 12 different sliders and three different graphs. So each of these graphs shows a different aspect of the output from our burden sharing tool. So we have a graph showing how prices are affected by a particular share of burden, uh, how allowances are affected by country, and finally, how losses are affected for each country as well. Uh, so as we vary the sliders here, 
that is being fed back to the Maniclet model. And the Maniclet model is producing three separate data sets, all of which can be mapped onto different graphs. So what this model shows is that the output from a model within Sias Live can be bound to multiple different widgets so that you can have the same data being displayed in different ways to support a more thorough analysis of that data. So the key benefit of Slice Live, and in particular its interactive component, is that it allows us to bring climate science to a much broader audience by allowing people to explore and to simulate and emulate interactively different climate scenarios, and thereby allowing them to better understand the science of our climate.